I've lost two. Hi. Hi, everybody. I am just sitting here drinking some tea with my Nico. I love my Nico. Love, love, love it. Um, my mom got me hooked on Nico many years ago. Um, and I like the octagon ones. Um, I think that's the Christmas time. I'm not really not sure. But anyways, my mom got me hooked on those. And, um, and I'm going to miss her this Christmas. I was with my dad today. We went to the mausoleum and dropped off two really cute ornaments. She, um, I come from a long line of crafty people. Um, she used to make Christmas ornaments. So we found a really cute little Christmas ornament with her initial on it and the name or, or her initials and the year that she stitched it. And dad really liked it. And he wanted to take that to the tree at the mausoleum that she's at. And he also made her a really cute cardinal out of wood. And he's done that for many years too. Um, mine are right now packed away. But um, we took two of these ornaments to the mausoleum today for my mom. So come to find out that they take all of the ornaments from this tree and they pack them away and they put them up every single year. And I'm like, what a great idea, you know? So uh, I love that idea that they do that at the mausoleum. So they, she's got two ornaments, one made from my dad and one made from herself. So on that note, um, I'm not, I'm struggling this Christmas, put it this way. I'm struggling this Christmas to celebrate. I'm trying to remember all of the good memories that I had with her. And this is one of them, drinking um, tea or coffee every morning out of a Christmas. She collected Spode, I collected Nico. So that is my happy memory of my mom. And um, I also wanted to share a little bit because um, I haven't been on floss tube for a while. So I thought it's time that I do some V blogs. I think they call them vlog, vlogs, vlogs. I don't know. Anyways, you know, I thought I would share it and, you know, have some of that. So on that note, I would like to also um, tell everybody what I've been doing the last few weeks. Uh, I've been super, super busy. Please understand if I am a little late with your bags. Um, I have other things going on with my life. It takes 30 minutes for each bag. Um, I know other bakers may take longer, other bakers may take short time. I take exactly 30 minutes each bag. And that is not including if the bag doesn't look right or if the stitches are off, then it might take me another 15 more minutes. So it might take me for, you know, average of 30 minutes each bag to make. That's if everything is going good, the stitches look good, the fabric looks good, and um, I've had to have a couple of um, backing changes due to some floss, due to some flaws in the, um, in the, um, uh, flaws in the fabric. The back, the fat, the front fabric will always be the same. If it is, says, um, classic, if it's classic Santa, it will always be classic Santa. If it's classic Santa white, it will be white. It will be green, whatever you get in the front, but the backing might change due to it's a seasonal thing and I might not be able to get the fabric and you might be the end of the bolt or the end of the sale. So I may have outsold it or I'll find a different fabric. Most, most of my customers are pretty, um, they trust me when it comes to, you know, uh, putting the fabric together. So there were, um, there was one and it was my classic Santa and he had um, some red and white check and it was um, a cheaper fabric and, um, at one point, a whole yard of the fabric ran. Um, it's, um, and I don't know if it didn't, it ran on my iron a little bit and it ran on a few other things, but it was only that one small section, but I just didn't want to risk any other fabric with it. And I tossed everything, threw it all away and started and use it. I, I'm now using a different fabric. So please don't be upset if you get the classic Santa and it now has red and white check or what red and white plaid that fabric is very expensive for one thing I buy all a lot of my fabric I get from quilt stores and that fabric that I got that that plaid is very expensive quilt fabric so I just want you to know I use high quality fabric from here forward I've decided I'm never going to use low end fabric for my bags because um I feel that my customers are number one to me and I don't, I wouldn't want to get a bag that um, has um, fabric that is runny and icky and soily and 
I just decide that this is so much easier if I get some really good fabric. I also had to get a whole new iron. Um, I got a new iron, um, a nice industrial iron. So, um, cause otherwise I was, it was drinking water like crazy. I'm like, holy crap, I'm drinking like an alcoholic. Holy man. So I got a new iron and I really, really like it. I only have to fill it once and it's, <clears throat> it's awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's really, really cool. So, um, I just wanted to touch base on the fabric. Some of the back fabric might be changing or I may have ran out of um, seasonal stuff. So I may have substituted it with something similar um, or better. Um, I do not have time to contact everybody by email. I'm hoping everybody trusts my backing when it comes to fabric. I'm hoping everybody says, yeah, that's good enough, Denise. I trust you. So thank you for trusting me. I appreciate that. And I wanted to tell everybody that all of my customers, I consider them as blessings. Um, I saw the Garth Brooks um, special a couple of days ago, and he said something really that hit me exactly how I feel about my customers. I feel that each one of my customers is a blessing, and I really appreciate every single one of you guys, and I wish, to me, when I send out a bag, it's like a hug in a bag because I make sure that each one of those bags are, like I said, it takes me 30 minutes. So I take 30 minutes for each one of those bags and I put love into each one of those bags for 30 minutes. So just so you know, I think of you, each one of you guys as a blessing and I appreciate it. And another thing is, um, I don't know if you guys knew, but me and Christy, J AKA the Java Girl Stitches have joined together and we have a Facebook group and we are dot dot goose design and java girl stitches facebook group so look for us on facebook we have our own private group we are doing stitch alongs we do uh contests we do um we do photos um we, everybody posts different stuff they post stuff about um about their pets about you know um uh, please do and um about their crafts somebody you know somebody is a long armor Tara, my friend Tara, um, Tara along the dotted line, she is a long armor. And um, if you have any long arming that needs to do on a crap on a quilt, please send it to her. She is also in our Facebook group. Um, you can contact her. Um, I know she does mail order stuff, so she does a fabulous job. She did my um, Star Wars quilt. Love, love, love it. Um, so don't forget to join our Facebook group. If you know both of us, um, my pet's name is Grace or Miss Gracie or somebody had at one time, somebody called her Her Highness Miss Gracie and I just died laughing. I thought that was so cute. So true. She is the Highness. Mm -hmm. She is. She would be here, but right now she is underneath the covers sleeping. She's been like that for the last several hours I think like midnight or like noon noon she's been there since like noon today so but we are doing a and on this Facebook group I wanted to get to that um we are doing a or I have just me and Christy have talked about doing these um these uh, stockings they're the blackbird design stockings they are the um tis Halloween one and we have been talking about this, doing these for a long time. And well, ever since she and I have been hanging out, which is almost a year now. And I said, oh, I really love to do these. I, I have something to do with it. I love Halloween and I love stockings. So um, one year, many years ago, my New Year's resolution was to knit um, one pair of socks out of a girl's um, book. And her name was Cookie Cookie A is what her name was. And she had 12 socks in one book. And I did one pair of sock for one month for that whole year. And I, I'll tell you, it was a it was a huge accomplishment. It felt I felt at the end of the year, I felt like I did something. You know, I said, this was a New Year's resolution that I actually did. You know, like sometimes I feel like I do a resolution and then by Lent I give it up. <laughs> My Lent resolution is to give up my New Year's resolution. So this one, I feel that we could do, this is very doable. These um, these socks are very doable. I know that there's also some Christmas ones. I have a Christmas book also. You can substitute whatever you want. I'm doing one a month. 
Um, and Chrissy, I think, is doing six or seven the, in the year. So she, I know she's really super busy with moving and building her new she shed and her kids. And I know she's super busy. So I think she said she's probably only going to do six of them. And then what I'd like to do is when I'm done with the first one in end of January, I will be putting up a tutorial on how to finish them. So um, I have, um, I already have, I don't have my little thingy. I have already have, um, I don't have it. I should, I want to show you guys. I have, um, I have, um, I have this cut out already. I have this part cut out already and a template. So I'm going to see if I can possibly um, do a tutorial on how to finish them. I, I, I understand the, um, I understand the finishing instructions They're They look pretty easy. I think we could do that. Um, all we really need is a two fat quarters, I think. And, um, I have, I already picked up my fat quarter, so I already know what I want for my fat quarter. They're all going to look the same. The backing, my, all my backing is going to look the same. I think we're going to do two designs. We are going to do either this design finish or Christy had thought maybe we could put something on the top, like a, like a cuff. So, and I said, oh, you know what? I think that'd be really cool. And I think I could do that for you. Um, so we will be doing this for um, my New Year's resolution. My New Year's resolution is to do this. And I am going to put, be very public about it on my Facebook group and on Instagram. And um, so I will be very public about it and post it all the time. You guys are going to look at it and go, oh God, she's doing this again. Yeah, yeah. This is my New Year's resolution right here. I want to accomplish something. And at the end of the year, I want to put it on a garland and I figure by October I should have enough to put it on a nice garland uh, by October I should have 10 maybe 11 um for sure nine so that's what I thought I could have nine up on a garland and hang it on my fireplace so fireplace um mantle so that's what my new year's resolution is and so please join me and Christy in doing this there's a bunch of other ones now on our Facebook that's doing it and I am going to be giving away this is already my my conversion <laughs> I've already started my conversion. Um, we are going to be giving away um, one book. And I have decided I am going to use this uh, floss pack on all of these uh, designs. So I have one of these to give away um, and one of these to give away. And I'm only going to do one giveaway and that is going to be on our Facebook group. So if you want to be in our Facebook group and be a part of the, of the giveaway, then um, we'll fi figure out a giveaway um, question in the next couple of days. Um, me and Christy, we need to talk about that. I, we have not decided what the question will be or if we're gonna do, you know, maybe post something, post what you, post if you've got this, post if, I don't know what we're gonna do yet. So, but I know that we are gonna give away one book and one floss. I have both one book and one floss. So we are gonna give away either the book or the floss. Um, I am going to um, see if I can get another set. Um, I'm not sure if I will be, but this is what I am going to work my pattern out of this. And if I can't get this, um, like some are windows or a door, I still might use the, because um, they also have DMC floss in here or DMC conversion, uh, DMC numbers. So I might just use a DMC floss instead of, you know, the fancy floss. So this will be the first time I actually use fancy floss for uh, a nice big project. So, and on my project, I am going to be using some linen. I know, you guys are going, oh crap, she, first she's doing fancy floss, and now she's, you know, using linen. So I got this linen as a fat quarter shop. I'm in part of the fat quarter shop uh, fabric club. And um, it is um, beautiful beige, 18 by 27, 28 count linen yeah so we'll see how that works i might be switching to ada because <laughs> i'm not sure this scares me so i took it out of the box i have plenty enough fabric for 13 bag of 13 socks i might do an extra one this month um and um so that is you know that's what i plan on using for my socks so as you can see, the color is beautiful. It really, really is pretty. I took it out and I did some floss tossing and I think that the floss will look awesome on this fabric. 
So this is this is one, actually one I'm going to give away. So it's nicely packaged yet. My mine in the living room is like all over the board. It's all over the place. It's, well, of course, it's been tossed. So I um so if you want to get into the um into our stitch along, please join our Facebook group. And another thing that Christy and I have decided that we were going to do because you know I have kind of I'm I'm a, I've done many things when it comes to New Year's. I've done drinking, I've done quitting smoking, I've tried to diet, I've tried, you know, we've all done our crazy things on New Year's Eve and said, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm all gun ho and I'm going to, well, one year, or several years, actually, I did, I used to run, and I used to run on New Year's Eve, so I would run, I'd start running at like quarter to 12, and then I'd run into the new year, like into, and I'd run until quarter after 12, so I'd run in the old year and run into the new year all in one run and um i told christy that and she's like hey we should do that with stitching and i said oh my god that would be so much fun so that's what we have decided to do we are going to stitch into 2020 and we have a hashtag that you guys can use we are going to start i'm going to start on new year's eve now christy said she's going to start and she's going to stitch all day she said well i can't because i'm going to be busy I'm going to be probably busy sewing bags, but I'm going to start stitching at 10 o'clock. So what I thought about doing is stitching with each and every one of you and stitching along every New Year's day or New Year's night. And then I would I was going to start at 1030. I'm Eastern. I'm Central Time. So I thought I'd start at 1030 and this way I'd stitch into the midnight hour on Eastern Time. And then I'm going to stitch into the old year into the new year on central time and then i'm going to do the same thing when it comes to mountain i'm going to stitch mountain time into the old year into the new year so i'm going to be stitching for probably about four hours and the pacific time i'm going to do pacific time old year new year so i'm going to be stitching for about four four hours or so that night um and i we decided we are going to um post um exactly at midnight what we're doing on instagram and i might even do it on facebook I might take four separate ones and maybe post it the next day. I just felt that doing this at midnight is actually the new year. To me, when you wake up the next day, it's okay. It's already, yes, it's already January 1st. It's already seven or eight hours or nine hours into the day. It's like, oh yeah, I feel like I've already missed it. So to me, the midnight hour is actually the new year, old year, new year, you know, that half hour to me is like old near new year. So, and cross stitch was one of my things that I love to do. And I used to do that when I used to run. So when I would run, I, that's how I always felt. I felt like that was always gave me great joy that year. And I would run into it. I'd run out of it and run into it. It was kind of a out and in type of thing. And that's what I enjoy doing. And, and I enjoy cross stitching. I love this community. I love everything about this community. Um, the uh, woman empowerment, the men empowerment, men are, 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 you know, great in this, also into this uh, um, community. And I just wanted to just do something fun. And I thought cross stitching into the new year, I thought was something I really wanted to do. And um, I hope you guys join us. And we do have a hashtag. If I can find the hashtag, I wrote it down and of course now I can't find it. Sorry. Uh, oh, here it is. Stitch into 2020. So I'm going to start stitching, like I said, at early, early, you know, at 1030 on Eastern Standard Time, or I'm going to be on Central. So I'm going to start at 1030. It would be 1130 Eastern. So this way, then you guys will have at least um, time to figure out what you want to stitch. If you want to stitch the socks or if you want to stitch a stitch along I'm also doing and I'm all I'm I want to reach into what I'm doing I'm stitching um I want to show you my stitch along because I've been doing that um here is my new here's my new item I made a project pal and this is my project pal and I have a lot of things in it I have done some crazy things in there okay so this is my project pal it has a and I think I sell them for $12. This is the nine by six. So when you open it up, it's going to be six by nine. So it's folded and it's got a snap on it. So this way, then when you put it in your bag, it, everything stays together. So I have in my, in my project pal, I have, thanks Carla, by the way, Carla from Rolodex Stitches is the one that thought of this name because I think it's adorable. Thank you, Carla. Um, 
and she is also a floss tober. You guys have to watch her. She is amazing. Love her. And so are uh, Married with Stitches. You guys got to watch th those two boys too. They are amazing. Okay, so those are my two shout outs when it comes to um, floss tubers. And of course, you know, Java Girl Stitches. Hello. She is my, she's my girl. She's my bestie. I got to shout her out. You guys got to watch her. She's got some amazing finishes. <gasps> her, she had, she had one today on a sled. Just knocked it out of the park. She just is amazing. That woman is amazing. She really is. Um, and I give her all the credit too, by the way. And um, so anyways, my project pal comes with a needle minder. And I got the needle minder. It's a coffee one. I'll put it a little closer. And then, of course, I got the heart on there. I sewed a, a wool heart. And there goes my scissors. My scissors just does not want to stay in this thing. And I don't know how to keep it on there. So anyways, um, there's my um, my heart. And then I also put a little bow on here because, you know, my my scissors was not holding up on there. And I was so I'm so frustrated with my scissors not holding up on there. And I'm, like, really upset. So... I still have to perfect that yet. So here's a here's another one of my scissors. So I've been putting it into the bowl. So that's how it stays. It's supposed to stay in there, but it's not doing real well. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I might throw in a ribbon on the side so the needle sticks or the um, scissors sticks in there. I have one. I have so many of these things that I have ribbons. I have um, ribbon closures. I have I have um, ones that you fold upon each other, and then I have magnets. I have so many of these things because I'm, you know, I've been a stitcher. I've been a knitter. I've been a magnumer. I have done so many crafts in my lifetime that to me I don't feel like I'm copying anybody because I have so many of these and I have plenty of ideas. So. Um, if you guys think that, uh, this is a cool idea, it's probably an old idea. It's probably from s designs that my mom's friends had, you know, when they were stitching cause they were hand stitchers and they had a ton of these, you know, so it's not a new idea. So anyways, um, I also put my, um, binding clips on them. See, and you can also put thread on it, throw thread right on it. Um, I've also put my binding clips on them. And what I do with that is because I, this is how I display, I, this is how I store my thread in little baggies, all sorts of baggies. Look at, I even have Star Wars, Star Wars baggies. I love that. I love Star Wars. I'm a Disney freak. So, and I'm going to show you that very, very shortly. So, um, so that is my, how I store all my stuff. And this is my project pal. And you just fold it upon each other. Now, this scissors doesn't belong in there. I'm going to be looking for that scissors later. And then you snap it. And that's my um, Project Pal. It stores right into my bag. But this is the bringing home. This is my bringing home the tree pattern that I've done. Um, I am did the first section or the first week, the second week, the third week. And the fourth week is now the snowflakes. Um, I decided on the snowflakes. I was talking to Christy that... Um, the snowflakes, I really don't like the snowflakes because I, I love the snowflakes. I love everything about them. The only problem with the snowflakes, I'm sorry, there was a thread. Um, the problem with the snowflake is in the back, I've been, my, I've been traveling with this blue thread on this white fabric and I can see through it. I don't like it. So I now am going to stitch every into every um, snowflake individually. So that is the back. Um, I also added little Grace in the back seat. See, I already added her. She was from the Happy Camper pattern from Lori Holt. So she was, um, I put her in the back seat. That's Miss Grace. And she is Ikru and the pink collar is like a pink that I had. And then her tail and her ears are, um, her tail and her ears are uh, hickory sticks. She's a hick stick. I kept throwing thread at her. I'm like, okay, I gotta find out what you are. Come back here. So this is my bringing home the tree and the pattern is from Lori Holt and the stitch along is with Fat Quarter Shop. And this is the pattern. And here is the bag that I made for it. It's really cute. It's Clark bringing home the tree. 
And that is all of that stuff. I'm going to throw it over here. Then I also want to show a couple of new bags because I am super, super excited about a couple of brand new bags that I got um, that I'm making. They are the Disney fabric that I bought. It's very expensive um, uh, fabric, but I love it. And I'm all, I, I thought about raising the price on these bags, but then I'm like, you know what? Bags are still going to be $25 into the new year, into 2020. They are still going to be $25 and you'll have to pay for shipping. Otherwise, if I didn't pay for shipping on my Etsy, then it would be probably $35 a bag and I am not going to jack up my price. So this is the first one and this is the um, Disney Parks. It's um, Disney Parks at night. As you can see, there's the castle. I'm not real familiar with a lot of these uh, icons. Um, I think this is from Hollywood Video. I think that's, um, uh, I don't know, I remember you guys. That's Beauty and the Beast. There's all sorts of different ones. And then this fabric in the back glows in the dark. So this bag is called Disney Parks. It's got a blue zipper. I can change up the zipper. I could put orange, I could put yellow, I could put all sorts of colors, but so, Zippers may vary when you buy this bag. So this bag is still $25 and it is in my shop. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys that is in my shop. So is bringing home the tree. That is also in my shop. And I'll list my shop below. It's dot dot goose design if you guys are not familiar with it. But here's another one. Oh my God, it's Orange Bird. Do you remember Orange Bird? I love Orange Bird. So here's Orange Bird. Love everything about this bag. This is just golden. Love Orange Bird. Orange Bird. It's also $25. I will be putting it in my, um, I'll be putting it in my um, shop, Orange Bird. And this is the back of Orange Bird. So that's Orange Bird. <clears throat> and I also did make a project pal with it. Um, it, it does have the matching snap. Um, I was going to put a magnet in here, but um, I decided not to because I found out that magnets can harm um, your iPhone, your computer, your um, iPad, any of your electrical things, um, if, it, if the magnet gets close to anybody's electrical stuff. And my dad has a pacemaker. So I also want to stay, have magnets stay away from my dad when it comes to his pacemaker. So I've decided not to put a magnet in here because I feel that it's dangerous for my customers. So please don't be upset that I do not put a magnet in. If you decide to put a magnet in, that is totally up to you. But I've decided to do snaps. So this is the, it's a case snap and it matches the bag. I have not put the heart in. Um, I'm thinking I might put a Disney, I might put Mickey's um, in there instead of the red heart, how oh, I have the red heart in there. I'm thinking about putting Disney, you know, my Mickey head in there. I thought it would be a really cute idea. I'm like, oh my God, Mickey, it screams Mickey. So here's the, here's the, um, the Project Pal. It's so super cute. And this one too, Matt, it, it measures out when it's open nine by six because I did it nine by six because if any smaller, you know, um, it could get lost, but I like it because I can put all of my stuff, whether it be needles, scissors, thread, floss, needle minders. I put it all in here, stick it in here, snap it in here so nothing gets lost. So when you put it into your bag, nothing gets lost. Nothing, you don't have, you know, maybe, um, maybe a month from now you decide to drag out, you know, um, you decide to drag out, uh, Orange Bird because Orange Bird has a cross stitch in there and you're all, oh my God, I have everything all in here. I don't have to dig for a needle. I don't have to dig for floss. Everything is all right in here. So that's why I decided to do a project pal for, um, to match. You can match your bag. You might not want to match your bag. You might want to just keep this in all of your projects. You know, you might only want to buy one, you know, you can buy one. I think they're like 12 bucks. They're really dirt cheap. And I said I would um, pay for shipping because I think I can get it in a regular size envelope and ship it for like almost nothing. So um, I am a little, like I said, I am a little behind, so please be patient with me. I will be catching up with Christmas. I am like super busy. Blah! I'm like crazy busy actually, which I want to thank every one of my blessings. Thank you very much. And, um, I just want everybody to know that this is my new project pal with Orange Bird. Love this piece. Love, 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 love Orange Bird. Love everything about Orange Bird. So I will be posting that. Um, 
I know it's almost 30 minutes. I'm like, God, I feel like I'm like, blah, 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 blah. But um, I also wanted to touch base a little bit about um, the new year and how many blessings I guess I have had in the last year. One has been a curse. And when I lost my mother in July, miss her a ton, miss her so much. But I'm still thankful I have my dad and my dad is still around and we do things together. We do lunch. He loves to go and have, um, he loves to go and have chicken bouillon over at this place called Curls in Green Bay. It's great, great soup. I like the chili. So it's like, okay, dad, let's go run and get chili and I'll get, or you get chili, you get soup, I'll get chili. It works, you know, so, and I wanted to show you my new, this is my new sweatshirt. It's the most wonderful time of year. This is my new shirt. Love my shirt. It's kind of big, but I love it. <laughs> and then, um, oh, and I also wanted to tell you guys, um, I forgot to tell Christy this, but Christy, so what I thought about doing is, um, cause I throw, you know, cause everybody has those little orts or the ends of their threads. I call them end of threads. I don't know. We call them what you may, but I, instead of throwing them away, I, and I started this tradition when I was a knitter. So instead of putting it in a, in a, I used to put it in a wine bottle. I used to drink wine. Um, and again, on New Year's Eve, <laughs> then I go out running <laughs> after a bottle of wine, but whatever, you know, I mean, you drink wine on that or that day, you could drink wine that next day on New Year's Day, you could drink your bottle of wine. And I used to put my, um, my ends of my um, yarn in there and it would, it would fill up all year long. That thing would, that thing was full by the end of the year. But I thought about doing instead of wine, cause I no longer drink wine. Um, I am going to put my ends of my thread in an ornament, a clear ornament. Now I saw a bunch of them over at the dollar store for a buck, of course. And then I already started some, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, I've already started, um, I already started mine. Here it is. Right here. So, okay, so this is probably a couple of months, you know, but I got, I think I got this at the dollar store. Yes, I did. I got this at the dollar store and it's really easy. I kind of put a, a little hook by my, by my table. I put a little hook by my table and I hook it onto the table. And then I, at the end of the night, after I've thrown all of my th ends of my threads on the table, then I put them in here. And then I'm going, what I'm going to do is um, write the year on the top, you know, 20, 2020. Then I'll know that every one of these came from my projects from 2020. So I don't know if you guys do this or not. Um, I did that, like I said, I did it for um, when I, when I did it for um, knitting, I did it for knitting, but I did it in a wine bottle. <laughs> Or was it a vodka bottle? I don't remember. <laughs> it was a bottle. It was an alcoholic bottle. Um, but I did that that one year. And of course, yarn is a lot. You know, it was a lot. It, you know, I mean, some of it, I mean, some of it was, you know, very thick because it's a thicker yarn. Some of it was thin yarn. Some of it was thick yarn. But of course, DMC and your classic colors are all the same. They're very small. So I figured that this will fill up, fill up fast enough. At the end of the year, I'll have every, and if I need two, then so be it. Think buy two. You know, they're a buck. And it's plastic, so it will not break. It's plastic. And it will not break. So if you need two, then so be it. One of two, two of two, two of three. Maybe you even need three if you do a lot. I am, um, I, you know, I, I would like to say, I thought about saving some of my thread when it comes to sewing. <laughs> I would definitely need a wine bottle then. There's a lot of it. So, um. I wanted to touch base on this and also I wanted to also tell everybody that I am doing a um, I'm doing the charity um, cross stitch with um, fat quarter shot I'm really excited we're doing um, I am one of the six or seven test knitters I'm really excited about that so I did get that and we're doing the um, we're doing the bloomtopia and I'm really, really excited about the Bloomtopia. This is the project bag that came with it. I also got the little, I also got the little keychain that went with it. Here's the bag. This is my fabric that I'll be using. It is a touch of gray, 14 count. So I'm going to be using this. Or I'm, you know, I'm really not sure. I might, 
I'm thinking about getting something from from um, Chris, um, Kristen and Derek. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, I really like that. So if you're going to watch, <laughs> this is what I want. <laughs> I want to dye something, something similar to this. So hint, hint. Um, and then here is the pattern. I already got the pattern. Um, this is the, this is the beginning of it. So this is what your pattern will look like when you get it. Um, it's a free pattern. Um, you can donate money to the uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation that um, Kimberly and Kevin do every year. And this is the Bloomtopia um, cross stitch. And this is the finished one that Christy did, or excuse me, that Kimberly did. And Kimberly and um, Priscilla, I think Priscilla finished this for her. Um, I plan on doing a different finish. I kind of like to do something similar, but um, so that's that's the finished product. So if you guys, and it's really, really simple. If I can do it, anybody can do it because, you know, I really don't have a whole lot of time because I've been doing books. So, um, and then I also, oh, and I also got this stuff too. I'm not really sure. This is Lugana 25 count. I thought about maybe using this. So it's either this, the Lugana, or the Ada. So they're pretty close in color. So I'm not sure it's either Ada or Lugana. I'm, not, I'm on the fence about both of them. So I'm really not sure about that. Um, I do, I did buy the, um, I did buy the floss pack. Um, Kimberly has it in the Fat Quarter Shop. Uh, Bloomtopia DMC thread pack. I will be doing the pattern just as is. I will not be changing any of the floss. I will be keeping it the DMC. I have, I accidentally ordered two, so sorry. I may give away one maybe, you know, later on and later on in the month, I might give away another pack because I got two packs. <laughs> I ordered two packs or I also have, I just have so much crap. Uh, um, fabric flare I got it and it is the sparkle silver sparkle thought about maybe using this as the fabric so I'm kind of on on the fence about all of my fabric right now for the bloomtopia so I'll be doing bloomtopia I think we have to start um in January or February of 2020 so that will also be a part of my um of my stitch along that I will be doing um in 2020 so I'll be doing that. Um, like I said, I am really, really excited about 2020. I'm looking forward to a better year. Um, I'm still having a really hard time. Not, you know, not really hard time with mom, but I really, really miss my mother. I've had her for 57 years because that's how old I am. Yes, I'm 57. And I miss her a lot. And um, I... You know, I'm having a really hard time, but I, I'll tell you, my customers have been a blessing. If it wasn't for you guys, I probably would have gone mad. I really, <laughs> I would have, I would have probably, <laughs> I would have probably had to uh, live with my, my dad forever and cry with him all day long, but he's, he's doing really well. He's decorated for Christmas. I'm very proud of him. Um, he, um, he's doing really well. I am too. So is my sister. My brother is getting along too. He and his wife are, um, they are doing some really fun things too this year. So, and um, I'm having a new grandson or daughter in 2020. Um, my daughter is having my next grandchild, number two. Number two. So way to go, Megan and Ryan. I'm very proud of you guys. Thank you very much for making me a grandma. I'm really happy. And my second daughter um, just got married. They're newly married, so they're enjoying their um, newlyweds. So they're enjoying their, you know, their newly wedding year. So hopefully maybe I can get some twins out of them because he's a twin. Actually, she married an identical twin. So hopefully we can get some identical twins on that side. Um, uh, what else? Um, I'm really excited for all my bags coming up. I have some really great ideas. I am going to have a bag of the month club. Um, I probably won't do it until later in January. I'm really sorry. I've been so swamped with Christmas orders and stuff. 
I'm, I know what I'm going to do. I have an idea. I've made the bag. I made the bag for January and for February. I know who we're going to, I'm going to feature. I have gotten some really great responses from designers. Um, I'm talking, um, needle minders. Uh, I have a couple of people working on scissor fobs. I have a couple of people. I have one person going to be making some dye, dyed thread. Um, yeah, I know. I'm really, really excited. Tracy, my friend Tracy, um, is an indie dyer and she said she would help me out and she said she would dye some thread for us in our thread, in our, um, block of, or bag of the month. Um, all I have to do is pick up colors. So, and I think I know which one I want for that one. And, um, she's a very sweet woman. She is, um, she does yarn. So she's local here in Green, or in, um, Green Bay. So she said she would do that for me. And so I have thread, I have needle minders, I have wooden bobbins coming up. I have a ton of ideas. Um, who knows, maybe you might get, um, a, you know, a, a, a project, a project pal with it, you know, matching project pal with them. Depends on how much fabric I have. Cause you know, again, I, you know, I buy limit, I buy, I buy fabric and then all of a sudden, you know, I buy, you know, five or six yards and everybody loves the fabric and then everybody buys it. And then, <laughs> and then I stuck with not having any fabric. <laughs> so maybe I should just buy a ton of it. But anyways, um, I, I love it that people are, um, that are excited about making bags and cross stitch. This whole community is, is a, truly a blessing for me this year. You guys have been such a huge support. You, I don't think you, I don't think you guys even understand or really realize how much it is, um, how much you guys really meant to me this year. It really helped me a lot. Sorry. <clears throat> you guys really helped me a lot. You know, the, I got a lot of well wishes. I got a lot of cards. I got a lot of, um, support. Um, I just, I love you guys. I really, really do. I'm, I'm really happy that I am a part of it. I'm a, I'm glad that you guys took me in and made me a part of this community because it is, it is a loving community. It really is. Um, I can't, I can't thank you guys enough. I really can't. Um, mom meant a lot to me but you guys mean a lot to me too so i really appreciate that you guys were around when i needed you and you're still around when i need you i'm sorry i'm getting sobby sorry but um yeah you guys are really awesome so this is what's under the juki today and um i'm going to try and do some more instagram stuff my um, goal this year for 2020 is to post more things to do more of the floss tube. I'll try not to gab too much. I feel like I've already gabbed 42, for almost 45 minutes. I I thought I'd only have about 20 minutes worth of stuff. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I guess I, tears and jeers. I've had a lot of those uh, today on this floss tube. Um, I will be posting it. I'm doing it today and I will be posting it on December 5th, I think it is. December 5th, yeah. So I'll be posting it on December 5th. I do believe it's number five, maybe number six. I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I didn't take, I didn't, did not pay attention this time. Um, I just wanted to get things rolling before, you know, Grace got up and started, you know, doing some surprise, uh, stuff. <laughs> She's known for that to sit there and wait for her treats. But, um, I wanted to thank, again, I want to thank every single one of you guys for being there for me and for being, um, being supportive, being patient with me when it came to orders being late. I'm going, my goal is to, you know, be a lot faster. Um, again, I am going to do a bag of the month. I am also going, and I'm going to, January is going to be a little late due to Christmas orders. So, I would like to start getting them out by the first of the month, but January will be late. So um, I think I'm going to have everybody email me their e um, email me, and then I'm gonna have them send me their name, their email address, their address. Um, I don't know, a bunch of other stuff. I haven't really decided if I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do yet. So I'm kind of on the fence about stuff. I've I know I'm going to do it. I just got to figure out how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it through PayPal. You'll have to, um, you'll have to watch for your invoice through PayPal. And then if you do not pay for them within the week of the time I send the invoice, cause I'll have the bags ready to go at that point, 
then I will send, as soon as I get the invoices or paid, then you, I will send out the bags that, that same day or the next day. Um, again, I want to wish everybody a very happy Merry Christmas and a happy 2020. And I hope you guys do my, um, my stitching into 2020 craziness that I've wanted to do. Um, I hope you guys find that to be more rewarding than drinking at a bar or at, or going to bed. Or if you are going to watch, uh, you know, Dick, what is it, Dick Clark, you know, dropping the ball, then do some stitching too. So you can watch the ball drop and do some stitching with us on 2020. So you guys have a great evening and thank you very much. And I love you, every one of you.